The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 323. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She is the founder of the Mamapreneurs Club, and she's going to explain more on what that's all about. But I'm just really excited to have her on and share her story with us today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Mickey Sturgis. Mickey, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. Hi, Sheena. Thank you for having me. My name is Mickey Sturgis. I'm a mom to three boys, and I'm wife and also mom entrepreneur myself. I launched Mom Mompreneurs Club in last year, 2016, and I wanted to really provide a space for women entrepreneurs, especially moms, to be encouraged and inspired and share trainings and tools that I le I've learned over the years so that they can be empowered to pursue being a work-at-home mom and to move on to the next level in their business. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And I'm sure, you know, all the mama listeners out there would love that, you know, the, just having that support can make a huge difference, especially when you're juggling kids <laughs> and, you know, exactly. be, be, having a business at the same time. I'm sure they would love that. And Miki, what's your cultural background? I'm actually originally from Japan, so I'm Japanese. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? My self-confidence quote is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's from Bible, Philippians 4.13. I know a lot of people know that quote, but I just love that. Thanks for sharing that. And that's actually a popular quote on our show. Uh, there's many, some of the ladies actually share this as one of their favorite quotes as well. Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, what's your definition of self-confidence? This made, made me think, actually, a lot. To me, self-confidence is an, is an ability to stand firm when something like some doubts enter your mind. And you can really believe that you're doing the best of everything in your ability and be okay with it. And, you know, some people say you own it, right? And I didn't understand that what that meant, own it what does it mean and that's what it means to me it's self-confidence is just to stand firm when some something some doubts and other opinions are thrown at you thanks for sharing that definition i i agree with you know that term own it because it's really up to us to create the life that we want right it's our responsibility mm -hmm. regardless of what's going on in the world um, deep inside like if we want change it has to come through us we have to own it and go out there and do it so love the definition yeah. that you mentioned and you know what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence okay so it's a long story but as I mentioned before to you um, I came to United States by myself to pursue my study of English language right I my major was English in Japan and I love the language. So I wanted to come to the United States, learn about the language. Meanwhile, I met my ex-husband who just ended up in divorce because of uh, domestic abuse. And during that marriage of 13 years, I tolerated a lot of physical and um, emotional abuse. So being Japanese, of course, I had to suppress my feelings, right? And that sort of the value that I've learned growing up, staying together, be you know br proud of who you are and what you're doing. And also, you can't be, you have to be perfect in people's eyes. So I did not, I hid it. I hid that I was abused. I didn't want to tell anyone. So I tolerated that so many years. And my self-confidence was just at the bottom. I did not believe I could do anything on my own. I believed what he told me, you are nothing, you're worthless. All these words, I start to believe that. So when when I came here, I was full of confidence. I was just like, yeah, I can just own the world. I can do things and I can do pursue my dreams. And yet those 13 years, 
I lost myself and my identity was his wife. And I had to be submissive. I had to be this person that I had. I could not make him mad. And that was before all this happened. Just I lost confidence. That was a terrible time. But after that, you know, that made me who I am today. So that was the life before my discovery of self confidence. I had to really think about that. Thanks for sharing that. And I'm sure it's not easy to share stories like that, especially growing up as an Asian woman. Like you mentioned, you know, you know, we have to be like this perfect eye to everyone. And, you know, we're not allowed to talk about things that happen, you know, behind closed doors, especially when it comes to abuse. You know, a lot of Mm -hmm. women who are victims of abuse feel like it's their fault. They did something wrong when it's not. And, you know, some of them are too scared to even share it. So it's great that you're able to share it and other women can be as courageous enough to share their story and help other women out there who are suffering. So really glad yeah. that you you did share that story. And what was that point in your life when you realized like enough was enough? You know, what was that aha moment and made you, um you know, have more confidence in yourself? Well, if it wasn't for that one particular moment, which led me to just say, you know what, that's it, was when my ex-husband basically put a gun to my face and said, you know what, I'm going to kill you if you leave me. And that was, I I didn't even cry at that time. I said, you know what, I cannot make you do anything. I, I have no control over, you know, how you are feeling. You know, no matter how, what I say, you still get mad. So I said, you know what, <laughs> I just raised my hand and say, you know what, just go ahead and shoot me because I can't do it. And he, of course, he didn't shoot me. I'm still alive. But at that moment, I said, you know what? This life, uh, it's not worth anything unless you, I, take a a step, right? I could not just stay there. And there are a lot of things happened. And after I moved, after I moved out, I didn't have a very good self-confidence. So I didn't think I had enough significant story to tell. You know, you mentioned, thank you for sharing. I couldn't share this for a long, long time. And now I came to a point where I say, God has talked to me and say, you know what? You need to share this story. And then last year, one of my friends said, you know, you always say you, you have no significant story to tell, but your story is far from boring. And I realized at that moment, I said, you know what? I think I'm underrating myself. I'm, I, why am I saying I wasn't too significant? I wasn't worth anything. That is, you know, I realized I, how fearful I have been, you know, being, like I said, being Asian woman, I think I'm trying so hard to please my parents, please my, you know, relatives and be a perfect little girl. And I, I say, you know what? <laughs> That's it. I, I can't really control anybody's emotions, control what they do. So why not just be me? That's, you know, a crazy <laughs> experience that you um, <laughs> went through. I mean, we're, we're glad that you're still alive. Thank goodness. But, you yeah. know, it's like when you're faced with that situation, it's like, what do you do? Some people get scared. You were just like, enough is enough. If you want to do it, go ahead. I mean, you know, in the end, things work out like for you, things worked out well, right? I mean, you were able to leave him, you were able to share your story. And a lot of people feel like their story isn't important or isn't any of significance. I've gone through that as well. It's like, who's going to listen to me? And it all comes down to feeling Mm -hmm. like we're not worthy enough. And, you know, it's something that most women go through, not realizing like their stories are so powerful that it can change someone's life. And, you know, because of your aha moments and realizations, what's your life been like now? Well, now I have beautiful children with my current husband. And I think it's the mindset that I made. My mindset has changed. I wanted to be stronger. And so I attracted stronger person because of that. And we are like best friends. And I can do what I'm pursuing my dream of owning my own business and being a mom and being a friend to people. And, you know, I, I'm, pursuing what I would like to do. I don't have to walk on eggshells. I don't have to seek approval for any from anybody. 
So I'm standing, I feel like I'm standing strong, even though I, to be honest, I'm still on this journey of discovery. I'm still on the journey of healing. So I do he- rely heavily on God's guidance. I've been, I've said this um, several times during this interview. I am Christian. I do believe in God and I do believe in God's power. So I pray a lot more than before. I, you know, I sometimes still do not rely on myself, but I do know and believe in my heart that my God is, you know, is thinking or has something best for me. So I think that's the strength I have. A lot of people, you know, some of my friends from Japan, they ask me, say, where does that strength come from? And I don't think I'm strong, but I know I'm strong in God. Thanks for sharing that. You know, it's great how you're able to find someone, like you mentioned, that that you can attract because it's it's so true, right? Who you want and who you are as a person, you'll attract, you know, like-minded people like your husband who's a lot stronger and who's there for you and built a life together. And, you know, you mentioned that your God's there for you, which is great, right? Because we all have, you know, someone we believe in, someone who has our back, whether it's God or the universe, whoever you believe in. And it's great right. knowing that, right? Because it gives you that that boost to just keep going to be stronger, even when we have bad days, because we all have bad days, we're, we're all going to have days where we're not as confident as we are. And sometimes we just need that, right? Just knowing just that knowing that, you know, someone has our back is, is, is a great feeling. So, you know, I'm glad everything yes. worked out well. And, and to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey of self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? I would say, well, life is a journey, right? So when life throws a curveball or something always happens, life happens. So when that happens, just trust in yourself. And if you don't, then seek advice from a trusted source trusted person and listen very carefully and listen well and ultimately you're the one who has to make decision and you have to like we said own it whatever it is and stand firm you know sometimes people get too stubborn stubborn is different from trusting and stand firm so don't get that wrong and but you know sometimes we have to swallow our pride take a stand you might not like or get out of your own comfort zone or uh, get out of your own way to get to a better place in life. So stand firm and be strong. Those are great tips and thanks for sharing that. And Mickey, if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do or check out your Mamapreneurs Club, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yeah, I am on Facebook a lot. <laughs> so it's facebook.com Mickey Sturgis. It's S-T-U-R-G-E-S and Mamapreneurs Club. And I have a Facebook page and a group and I would love to have everybody join the Mamapreneurs Club group. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Mickey, you can also head on over to the com and search for Mickey's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I just want to thank Mickey for taking the time to share her story with us. Thank you so much, Mickey, for, you know, taking the time to share your story. It is a, you know, inspiring story. It can really help a lot of women out there. Thank you so much, Shana, for the opportunity. Not a problem. It was an honor having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. Get your free audiobook by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.